Hey y'all, it's T and welcome back to Tea Time. In this video, we'll be going into Dollar General to take part in the clearance event. Some stores are 70% off and some stores are an additional 50% off. So make sure you scan, use your app to scan your products in store. So I am over here in my clearance section and I have found a few items already. I'm going to start off with some hair color which is the y'all know what this is that hair color right there um is ringing up for three dollars there's a upc and we have a seven off of three coupon from the 10 3 save insert that'll give us a dollar in overage to apply to our other items right here is a little in cap of some items that i did spot but if you use this downy right here in this bottle the non-concentrated i believe it is um these are ringing up for like a dollar and 30 something cent um we do not have any coupons that will attach to these all right y'all so i am back over in the clearance section double back and double checking like i always do to make sure i didn't miss anything and these suave um hand soaps are ringing up for 75 cents when you buy eight dollars worth you'll save two dollars instantly so keep that in mind if you want to pick those up and then as i was leaving the cashier yelled at, yelled out and said that she had other items in the tote that was on clearance and that's where i found these downy defied beads these are ringing up for four dollars and 48 cents there is a three dollar coupon in our october png which will make these just a dollar and 48 cents and I will show you what that coupon looks like here it is right here all right so in the next tote under that one that I just shown here I found some downy fabric softener the downy infusions refresh was two dollars and then the downy wrinkle guard was a dollar and 77 cents we have a one dollar coupon that is in our october png which will make them a dollar each and then 77 cents each okay so here is the safeguard soap that you would want to look for the one with the blue strip on it it's a dollar and 33 cent we have this five off of three coupon from the october png and a digital which will make these free plus about a dollar in overage for every three all right y'all so here is my first transaction that i am going to check out with which is two of the defy beads two of the wrinkle guard and two hair colors so after all of these coupons my subtotal should be about 40 something cents so i am going to go and check out and then i'll come back with my receipt all right so here is my next transaction which will be four of the wrinkle guard and two of the downy defy i'm going to go and check out and i'll come back with my receipt all right, so quick note while you're around out and about shopping, make sure you check all the garden items. These are ringing up really cheap as well. All right, y'all, so here is a look at my first receipt. I have two of the Donnie Wrinkle Guard, three of, I mean, excuse me, two of the Defy Bees, and then three of the Safeguard Soap. I had to take the, um, hair color off of this transaction because my coupons would not scan because they're a little blurry so that's why i had to take them off so this transaction was 44 cents after my three off of 15 and then my next transaction which is two more of the uh defy beads and then you can see the downy wrinkle guard i have four of those so after my three off of 15 and the coupons for all six items it was three dollars and two cents which is not bad and then last but not least at this store i was about to leave and then that's when i saw the beach mats which are these two right here um they are ringing up for 90 cents all right, y'all, so I am at my next store. Here is my cart of my first transaction that I am going to pick up. So the Swiffer refills, these are ringing up for $1.21. I have this $2 coupon from the PNG as well as the digital, so that'll give me $0.79 cents in overage. All right, so this Dove Amplified Textures Treatment Mask is ringing up for a dollar and twenty six cents. That two dollar digital will give seventy four cents in overage. 
Then the hair color at this store is ringing up for $1.80. Using this $3 coupon from the 10-3 save, it'll give you $1.10 in overage. But if you get two of those and use that $7 coupon, it'll give you $3.40 in overage. All right, so the Airwick Essential Oil Kit is ringing up for $2.69. With that $1.50 digital, you'll pay $1.19 and then submit back to Fetch Rewards for $2.50 back, making it a money maker. These bounce dryer sheets are ringing up for $0.93. Cents. We have this $1 off of one coupon right here, which will make it free plus a few cents in overage. The Pampers Diapers, size 4. These are ringing up for $2.70. And I picked up the bottle of Awesome right here to absorb some of the overage. All right, y'all. So if you can find these at your store, all of these swim pants are ringing up for one penny each. All right, so that transaction did not go as planned. And I'm going to tell you what happened and then how I fixed it. All right, so you can see the um, gain, the bounce dryer sheets, the Swiffer items. That those are the hair colors. The Airwick um, mist starter kit, <laughs> and then the um, what else did I have? The awesome. I found the uh, three Pampers, and then all of the swim pants for a penny. All right, so. My subtotal was six dollars and fifty cents because I did not know that um, Dollar General does not allow you to go in the negative anymore. So that's why that seven dollar coupon, that second seven dollar coupon, got kicked off. So what I did was I refunded two of the hair colors because you can see the seven dollar coupon only attached to two. So I returned the other two and then the bottle of Awesome that I um, used to absorb some of the overage. So I returned those. And then I got back $7.13. All right, so then what I did was I repurchased the two hair color and then the awesome, the big bottle, and then one of the spray bottles. So I allowed the overage from the $7 coupon to um, take care of all of those items. So I paid 60 cents. And then um, I'm going to submit two Fetch Rewards for $2.50 for the air wig. So this is actually, this transaction actually came out to over a $2 money maker. I will do the final, final numbers once I get home. Y'all, I got to go to the next store. I'll be back. All right, y'all, I have finally made it home from Dollar General and this is everything that I picked up on today. Awesome deals going on at Dollar General with this clearance event. If you do not know, Today started the three-day event of the um, clearance at Dollar General. Some stores are additional 50%. Some stores are additional 70%. But what you have to do is scan your um, items in your app. Make sure your location is correct to wherever you are. That way you can get accurate pricing and then go from there. Pair up these deals with digital coupons and your paper coupons from various inserts. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go over all of my receipts. I did several transactions and instead of breaking up everything into separate transactions, I just grouped everything together and then I am going to go over all of my receipts and then let you know how I made out at the end. All right, so first starting off at this store, these are all of my, um, receipts from the first store that I did okay so first starting off I had the downy wrinkle guard price at 177 you can see that dollar coupon and then the defy bees price at 447 and you can see that three dollar coupon and FYI on the defy beads they were ringing up for 895 in my app but when I took them up to the register they did ring up for the 447 so keep that in mind if you price check and you get the 895 in the app all right, so the Safeguard Soap, it was $132, and that $5 digital coupon or the paper coupon is attached to that, giving you about a dollar in overage. So on this card, I had it three off of 15. That came off, so my subtotal was 44 cents. All right, so moving on to, oh, and let me show you the hand soap. This is the hand soap. Here is the 
UPC for the hand soap. And then the D5 beads. Here's the UPC for that. And it's the pink labeled ones, okay? All right, so moving on to the next transaction, you can see more of the D5 beads. And then I picked up four of the wrinkle guard. Here is the wrinkle guard right here. It is the 25 fluid ounce bottle. Here is the UPC here. All right, and you can also pick up the Downy Refresh. Those are priced at $2, and then we have a $1 coupon. These are priced at $1.77, and we have that $1 coupon in the October PNG. I decided to get this because I actually like this item, and I've been getting Downy from Kroger and other stores recently. So anyway, that's why I picked these up, and these were cheaper. Let's not forget that. All right, so here is that receipt. And I paid three dollars and two cents for those items right there. That was six items. And then moving on to this receipt right here, I was getting ready to leave, but I saw a whole bunch of people just storm in, and they were grabbing like shovels and rakes and all kind of different things like that. Those were like a dollar and some change, and I think the grill brushes were like sixty cents. I'll insert a clip here if I have it. I think I recorded it. If not, I'll just insert a picture. But um, the beach mats, I picked those up, and that's what these are right here. And where's the UPC? Okay, that's the UPC for that one. Here's the UPC for that one. All right, and those are the two there. They were 90 cents, and I paid a dollar and 80 cents for those. All right, so moving on to the next transaction over here, I picked up one of the Gain Scent Blasts, and this is the 81 ounce. And there is the barcode right there. If you want to look for that in your store. And then um, there's a $2 coupon in the PNG that I use for that. The bounce dryer sheets, those were 93 cents. And it's the orange, well, citrus and vanilla bliss. And here is the UPC for this. All right. We have um, $1 coupons for that. I'll put up on the um, screen where those came from because those were not in the PNG. Those came from a different insert. And then I picked up the Swiffer cloths. These were a dollar and twenty-one cent, and we have a two-dollar digital and a two-dollar manufacturer coupon in the October PNG. That's the UPC for that one. So it'll give you about seventy-nine cents in overage for those. All right. And what else did I pick up on this receipt? Those are super cloths, and then I picked up four of the hair colors. And I used that $7 off of um, two coupon, but I'll tell you what happened in just a second. And then I picked up one of the um, Airwick, um, what is it? Essential oil kits. And those were two sixty eight. dollars We have that $1.50 um, digital. And then when you submit back to Fetch Rewards, you'll get back $2.50. So that was a money maker. I think I paid like $1.19 and then I got back $2.50. So it's over like a dollar and 30 something cent money maker for that. And then the Dove Mass, it was $1.26 at this store. I think this store was an extra 70% off. So it was $1.26 and then that $2 digital came off. That gave me about 74 cents in overage for that. And then the Pampers. I was so shocked to find these. But here are the Pampers, the Swaddlers. They were priced at $2.70. And here is the UPC for that one. And here is what the front of the package looks like for that. And then, is it the same? Yep, yeah, it's actually, this is the same or a different package, but the UPC is exactly the same. 74958, 74958, all right? So those are 
$2.70. There are no coupons for that, um, for those items right there. But I worked it in with my three off of 15. All right. And then all of the swim pants, which is the, these right here, the blue, the purple, and the green packs, they are ringing up for one penny. And here is the UPC for that one. And then here's the UPC for the purple pack. And then here's the UPC for the green pack. Let me get a little bit better. All right. So there is that and those rung up for one penny as you can see here. All right. So my sum total was supposed to be, I was supposed to go in the negative a little bit and then I thought it was going to apply to my taxes, but that did not happen. So it kicked one of the $7 coupons off. So I paid the $6 and 50 cents out of pocket, but then I ended up getting a refund on that because what I did is I added, oh, also on this receipt, it was, where's the awesome ad on here? Oh, the awesome right there that was returned, which was $3, which is the big bottle right here. That's regular price. I put that in to absorb the overage. So what ended up happening, I refunded two of the hair colors, which the coupon did not apply to, and then the awesome. And so I got $7.13 back. And then what I did was repurchased the two hair colors, the awesome, and then I added the $1 spray bottle in there to absorb more of that overage. And so my subtotal was six sixty cents after using that seven off a of three coupon. And I did eventually get my coupons to scan, even though they were a little fuzzy. All right, so that's what happened at that transit on that transaction. All right, so moving on to the next store, and I did three transactions of the same, which was the downy bees and then two of the hair colors. For some reason, when I put all the hair colors together and then tried to give the coupons, um, they would not work at this store, so I had to separate separate it. So I did one of the beads and then two of the hair colors, and then I used a seven off of two coupons. So my subtotal was forty seven cents for each of those transactions, and you can see that I did that three times. All right, so moving on to what I did at this next store which was this Colgate right here, which was priced at $1.35. That $2 digital coupon is attaching and giving you 65 cents in overage, all right? The box was open, so this is going in the trash after I'm done recording the video. But hey, overage is over, so I got that 65 cents. All right, so, and then I picked up one of the Airwick and I'll tell you what happened because when I scanned it in the app, it rung up for two, two ninety seven. But then on my receipt, it was four forty seven. And I was wondering, I'm like, why is my total so high? But anyway, it was four dollars and forty seven cents. And then I picked up this outdoor blanket right here, and you can see right there the regular price for this was twelve dollars. And that is a UPC for that. So it was a dollar and 80 cents for that. All right, so I paid that. So it was a dollar and 86, 80 cents for that. So I paid that, which was $4 and 12 cents for all of the items, okay? But I returned that Airwick because it rung up incorrectly. So I returned that and it got sent back to my card, which was $4 and 40, well, $4 and 83 cents with tax. All right. So that was that transaction. So all of that was pretty much free because I got my money right back. All right. Okay. We almost there y'all moving on to my last two transactions, which was the, um, safeguard actually. This transaction right here was first. 
So what I did was pick up, um, what did I get on this receipt? So I got some safeguard refills, one, two, three, four, five of those, and then one of the bottles. So here is the refill, and it is a 25 ounce bottle. Here is the UPC right here. I picked up five of those and then one of these. And the $5 off of three digital and the paper coupons from the October PNG are attaching to this. And I think I used one digital and one paper coupon is what I did here. Yes, that's exactly what I did. So my subtotal was 17 cents for all of those items. And then my last and final transaction was another one of the awesome cleaners right here. And then I picked up one of the safeguard, the little, no, actually, I picked up three of the safeguards, the um, little pump bottles right here. So three of those, the awesome. And then at this store, the recovery mask, it was not ringing up for a dollar and 20 something cent. I think this store right here was additional 50% instead of additional 70%. So here is the recovery mask right here. I forgot I didn't show the re the uh, UPC. It's a 10.7, I mean, it's a 10.5 ounce. Here's the UPC. So this store, it was ringing up for $2.10, uh-oh, $2.10. And then I had that $2 digital coupon that attached to it, making it 10 cents. So after my little bit of overage from the hand soap, I paid 6 cents plus tax for that. All right, y'all, those are all of my transactions. I did quite a few. Hold on, I lost focus. All right, there we go. Okay, so my total out of pocket was $18.12 for all of these items. All right, so after my refund of whatever it was, like $11 and some change, I spent all of that but $5.60. Plus, I got back um, $2.55 from Fetch Rewards for the air week. All right. So that makes everything that you're looking at, all 66 items, just $9.97 or about 15 cents each. All right. So this is everything that I did today. I'm not sure if I'm going out tomorrow yet. Um, I have not made up my mind yet. But if not, I am happy with everything that I got on this clearance event. So if you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram. Because I post a whole bunch of stuff over there that I do not post on YouTube. Okay? All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching.